Gentlemen, where did this start? I mean, I, I just, I've been thinking about this all day long. I'm like, where does this story come from as the creator yeah, of this yeah. tale? Tell me, is there a, what's going on? Well, there's nothing, there's nothing one-to-one -one in terms of, uh, in, in my family. And I created the show with my brother, Glenn, and a partner, writing partner, Daniel Zellman. Uh, and we really wanted to just do a deep dive into family and family relationships and the roles that we all play in our families, how we can be trapped in those roles, a search for identity, and uh, an exploration of when the black sheep of the family comes back and wants in, uh, how, how just great and positive things go once that happens. Uh, <laughs> not exactly what happened in, that, in Bloodline, but no, the idea that uh, how families can be look like one thing from, the, uh, from everyone else's perspective, but once you're in the family, it can be a very, very different experience. Which shifts me over here. Uh -oh. Dude, so you, what, what, are you, what are your first thoughts when you, when you read about your character, the characters, the scripts, you're looking at all this in the very beginning, you gotta be thinking, okay. You take a big leap of faith with, with, with a show like this. You, um, I, I signed on to the show, um, they, they asked me to play the, the part, and um, all I had uh, was the pilot script, you know? You don't, you don't really know what they have in mind. You have a general description. Um, I knew that the show was gonna be about a, a, a group of siblings coping with the, co and covering up the murder of one of their own. And um, Todd had mentioned Crime and Punishment as uh, the Dostoevsky novel as sort of a template, which is this massive novel where the murder happens in the first you know, 20 pages, and then for 400 pages you get into this guy's mind and the repercussions, the psychological repercussions of this act. And what those were gonna be, we didn't know. Um, but the writing, it just can, you'd get a script, so good. The directors that, that were brought in were so excellent. These guys were always there to keep the show, uh, to have a continuity and, and an honesty about it. You didn't know, you just kind of let them lead you and, um, and hope they were gonna take care of you. <laughs> Here's, here my, I wrote some notes down as I've watched the show develop. And one of the things that stayed continued and continuous in my mind is it's family dysfunction that we can all relate to, to a certain degree, because every family kind of has a dysfunction. Nobody kills anybody and goes off like, like that. But am I right? Kinda? No, exactly. That's it, the, okay, that's so the, I was right. That's the bullseye right there. You yeah. know? It's meant to be extreme, but then hopefully in those extreme actions, we can see more clearly uh, you know, the relationships that we have and how yeah. our family dynamics um, can be explored through those extreme actions. When you sit down and you write from one episode to the next, how do you know at what point you wanna, I've always wanted to ask one of the Netflix shows this question, how do you know when to just cut it because you know you gotta hold people to the next one? Yeah, well it doesn't entirely feel that way about you know so consciously holding people to the next one, it just falls out in terms of storytelling. So knowing uh, in terms of conceiving a 10 episode season, just taking people through what would be an entertaining experience. So really trying to decide on the entertainment uh, um, you know, side of the scales, put the more weight on that and then say, okay, here's the story, here's the next story, well, where's an entertaining place to end before we head into the next one. Love it, I have to ask this. Are you, are you coming, are you gonna do more stage or? Yeah, I'm actually in a play right now uh, off Broadway. Uh, uh, just a, a limited run of a, of a play that a friend of mine, Hamish Link, later wrote called The, the Whirly Gig with the new group. But uh, uh, my kids are still in school. I, I, I don't think I'm gonna be signing on for any uh, long Broadway runs for a while yet. Um, but uh, you never know. You never know. Yeah. I love your work, my man. Thanks so nice much. Nice to meet you.